Three weeks of on and off grinding later and we're here. The whole team is level 50. Lance's Dragonite is what I decided the cap should be, and we're ready. Gyarados move said needs to be fixed, but before I can do that I need to get the Indigo Plateau fly point. Without further ado, our rival should be a cakewalk or 12 levels above him. <laughs> He leads Sneasel, so we lead Arcanine. Sure dude, the worst water move in the game will take you far. Half Thundershock I should be quiet. Turn in Blizzard on Gyarados over Bite and Waterfall. We don't have near enough money for it LMAO. Okay then plan B plan B might involve sacking something to Lance but you know what there are several encounter left in the game. One being a Snorlax with leftovers which I am excited for. It's level 50 already so it's low EXP. Gain is fine.
shoot, I can't afford healing items now. This just got a lot harder. Okay well if my plans work out we should be good. Let's do it. I'm gonna have their teams on another tab by the way so random cuts will be me looking at movesets and things. My calculations tell me return is more damage than Shadow Ball because of Stab and Pink Bow? I think it one shots. That is fine. The cap ends when I enter the Elite Four so I can still use my Mill Tank. Thank goodness I can too, it's an amazing Pokemon. Oh, that's well, by the way. He wasn't gonna be hard. Next is Koga, so let's change my other tab real quick. Arcanine sweeps this guy, holy crap. To think we were gonna get Espeon over Umbreon because of my Smoochum dying. out something 4x weak to fire against a fire type. This AI man I don't get it at all. This can't hurt Magneton at all so we go him on this.